This is one my goal to make you understand that love, happiness that you're looking for, that you're so all of us so badly want to be happy, so badly want to get to this place of ultimate satisfaction, of ultimate peace within ourselves, that we are going the wrong path. We're looking for it somewhere else outside of ourselves. We're looking at it for in an object. And so when you finally get the object, you finally get it. This object is only going to make you happy for a very short period of time. And then you get bored with it. Or it gets bored with you. So it's not really outside of yourself, my brothers and sisters. It's not there. You're going in the wrong direction. Stop. Come back. Shift your attention inwards. It's not out there. It's never going to make you happy. It's always going to bring misery at the end, no matter what. If you're projecting it outside of yourself, it's always going to result in misery. It's just a matter of time. Because eventually you're going to lose your youth. Eventually your body's going to get old. Eventually you're going to be sick. Eventually you're not going to have that zest that you had. That vibe being so vibrant and you could get anything you want. All of it is going to shift eventually. And you're going to find yourself lonely. Unhappy. In this quest to getting something from the outside to make you happy. It's not there. It's an illusion. It doesn't exist. So how many times do you have to go through this process and get disappointed to get it? How many times life ha has to betray you for you to get this? Why not get it now? Why not stop and turn inwards? Look for it within yourself. Why don't you turn around, come home, come back. You've gone too far. You are on this boat. You've gone very far in the middle of the ocean and you're getting lost. Come back home, come back. Come back to safety. The waves of the ocean are gonna eat you alive. Come back. What you're looking for is here. You are the one you're looking for. I'm not saying that you don't meet somebody and there is no love. Yes, of course, we're packed animals and we like to come together. That's a part of our DNA. That's our nature that we like to connect. And I'm not saying you're not going to have a partner in your life and not be with them. And there's anything wrong with it. That can ha easily happen. What I'm saying is don't fall into the illusion that that partner is making you happy. Find the happiness inside you. So you're attractive then. So you're not needy. Because no one's attracted to a needy person. And if someone's attracted to a needy person, then that's going to turn into a twisted relationship. That's going to come to a torturing re relationship. Because there is something in that person too. But once you start to discover it inside yourself, 
and start to drink it and recognize it, it doesn't matter physically what you look like or what your body looks like. You become very attractive because another person sees the light in you. And we're all attracted to the light. We're all looking for the light. The light pulls us. So that's the key. The recognition of the fact that you're complete and you're whole. And that's not a mental understanding. You have to be quiet, be in meditation and be here. And then the love appears and you feel it on regular basis. Regularly, you feel this love. And yes, there are moments in your life that you may get angry, you may get sad. You, those things are going to come and go too. I'm not saying that every single moment of your life you're just in this blissed out state and you don't feel anything else but only this. No, I'm not saying that. That becomes the underlying of your being because you recognize you're complete. You discovered God within yourself. So now you're accepting and loving yourself as you are. There's no longer this mental battle with yourself. You recognize this here within yourself. So you're complete. This is not being narcissist, not an ego trip. Oh, I am perfect. I am love. I am better or I am blah, blah, blah. No, it's, it happens in a very subtle way. You recognize who you are and you're hundred percent. Okay. With the way you are. And that's where it makes you very attractive because everybody wants to be around you. Because you are, have discovered the light within yourself. You're feeding off of your own light. You're not looking for it somewhere else. But you can't get to this from a mental way. This is not an intelli intelli intellectual understanding. This is beyond intellectual understanding you have to be quiet your mind you have to go beyond the mind you have to come to inner silence that's why i keep saying be quiet be silent so you can feel the juice the more you're quiet the more you disengage yourself from the world the more you start feeling the juice because the juice is here so it requires a disconnection from the utter world. You have to shift your attention from the utter world and bring your attention to the inner one and have no idea. Drop your spiritual ideas. They're very dangerous. Be naked, be simple and just be in this place. I don't know anything. And don't conceptualize anything. Just be in this place of not knowing. Because I don't need to know the mechanics of a car. How the wheels are connected to the car. How the brakes work. How an engine functions. How transmission works. How fuel injection works. I don't need to know its mechanics. All I need to know is drive the car. 